Getting kicked in the balls. Bro, listen, that's a fact. They say getting kicked in your nuts is like having 18 babies at once. Right. Look, I'm not gonna uh, lie to you. Some of the top pain you will ever feel in your life, the scooter hitting your ankle, all right? Stumping your toe on the edge of the bed. And I feel like an underrated one is biting the inside of your, like, your mouth, like your lip. Bruh, that is a top five pain I've ever felt one. But we got chains in the building, pain be like. Huh, huh, huh. Mm. Pain. Close. I've felt pain. He's felt pain. That dude's felt pain. What? No, I haven't felt any pain. We've all felt pain, because you know what they say. The only things truly guaranteed in life is death and pain. <laughs> Wait, taxes. What about what Don't about taxes? About that one. What? Is this chains for real? No. And I hate to be all <laughs> controversial here, but pain? Th that shit hurts, bro. Specifically, the little shit that just does one damage has no business hurting so bad. Like stubbing your toe or biting your tongue or, or fuck. See, he knows, bro. He knows. Fucking paper cuts. Like, that shit shouldn't even hurt, bro. It's paper. It's not scary. Oh, shit. And I still remember the paper first cuts time in my life I ever took some real damage and felt some real pain. And it was back when I was four years old. Which, man, I was still learning the controls of life and shit. Like, yeah, I could run, but it was low-key like watching a dude play Fall Guys if he was drunk and fried and asleep <laughs> but regardless one day i was bored doing four-year-old shit and then i seen my arch nemesis a fucking chair. A chair and i instantly knew what had to be done i had to assert my athletic dominance by running and jumping over this chair so i take a deep breath i run up jump and clear this chair clean as hell now keep in mind i was four years ankle, old bro. so that was probably that was probably the coolest shit i'd ever done in my entire life so you know i had to show my mom to make her proud of the man I've become. Hey mom, watch this. <laughs> what, what the hell are you doing, Chains? Hey man, just watch and learn. <laughs> oh shit. I bro getting your finger caught in the door, that's another one. I remember that happened to me at the mall, like the bathroom door closed with my finger in it. I thought I was gonna die that day, bro. Fucking ate it, bro. Like, that was the type of pain that hit so hard, you can fucking taste it. And damn, that shit tasted ass, bro. Like, have you ever taken a soccer ball straight to the schnoz? Because that shit will have you smelling pain, tasting pennies, and seeing tears. <laughs> which is bad, but like, who the fuck invented the funny bone, bro? Because that shit ain't funny. Like, bro, you can't just call some pain flash shit funny and expect it to be humorous. No, 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 the bone is humorous. cold as humorous. Yeah, shut up. How humorous is this, buddy? <laughs> Not humorous. Yeah, that's what I thought. And in fact, I think it's the opposite of humorous. Like, yo, did you guys know one in four dudes is gay? Hey, Wait a minute. Gee, I sure hope it's Owen, because he's sexy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Y'all hit the funny bone too. Yeah, I did. If I had a pain tier list that went from shit ain't nothing to... <laughs> I'd probably rate hitting your funny bone a solid. Mm. It's the same as stubbing yeah, your toe real hard. Like, you just need a mm. moment to take a few deep breaths and say a few slurs, and that shit just heals itself. But it's if true. we're looking at some top-tier, brutal, agonizing, excruciating pain, getting kicked in the balls. Bro, listen, that's a fact. They say getting kicked in your nuts is like having 18 babies at once. All right, listen, ladies. Who said men can't take pain? Now, for you 19.8% female audience, I know you might not be able to understand what this feels like. So let me just give you a quick overview. Imagine having balls, right? Now imagine getting kicked in them. That shit hurts like a bitch. <laughs> I remember one time in grade six, me and my homies were playing a good old game of soccer. And we were playing with the big homie. <laughs> I mean, the really big homie. Like, the dude had more chins than a Chinese phone book. Like, last time we went to a restaurant, more chins than a Chinese phone book is nuts. Bro looked at the menu and said, okay. And I couldn't even tell you how big he really is. Because last time he stepped on the scale, it said one at a time, please. So what I'm trying to say is he was a big dude. And big dudes got big legs. And big legs produce hard kicks. kicks. And during this grade six soccer game, I unfortunately found myself legs spread wide open. Freshly dropped testes exposed to this absolute unit wound up to kick the ball and well Whoa. pain 
just pain, bruh. Followed by a moment of silence from everyone on the field. And I don't Bro, I, uh, Chad, I got I got a uh, confession, okay? I, I was a baseball player growing up. You know what I'm saying? All-star type beat. And I remember when they first started to tell people about cups, right? They was like, yo, you wear a cup to protect your nuts, all right? And me being one of the kids who didn't have, like, the best gear, I didn't know what a cup was. I thought people was, like, taking cups out the refrigerator, all right, not the refrigerator, the cabinet, and putting the cup over their joint, all right? That's what I thought a cup was. Listen, don't judge me, man. I had, I didn't know anything better. <laughs> I don't know if the moment of silence was for me or for my next generation of kids. The big homie just wiped out, but I felt that shit, and I felt it in my stomach. And there was really only one sound I was able to make in that moment. Now I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Getting kicked in the balls is nothing compared to childbirth. Childbirth is so much worse. This guy's a misogynist. And no, I don't give people massages. And I might be the first to tell you this, but I've experienced both getting kicked in the balls and childbirth. And honestly, childbirth what? wasn't even that painful at all for real. But to be fair, it was, it, it was probably a little worse for my mom. So like... <laughs> Now, we all know physical pain very well, but what do you call that deep, torturous pain you feel when your dog dies? In Minecraft, oh, no, that's that, that psychological pain. Like, the pain you feel when you're watching a banger YouTube video and an ad interrupts you out of knowledge. Or like the pain you feel when you just got done making some toast and peanut butter and that shit flops on the floor face first. It doesn't hurt physically. Not it hurts childbirth spiritually. Like, there really is levels to this shit, bro. Because now when you start adding psychological pain <laughs> onto the physical pain of things, we gotta start adding new tiers to this tier list. Because Hold on, what, what's the worst psychological pain? I don't know, bro. Imagine peacefully sleeping in your bed and you get woken up to the pain of your girlfriend kicking you in the balls. Which of course hurts physically, but then you realize you don't even have a girlfriend. A a and you live alone. So just to knock a few more off this tier list, a razor scooter to the shin. <laughs> Stepping on Lego there. is a solid. <clears throat> now getting socked in the face is an interesting one, cause that shit can range anywhere from all the way to getting the sonic rings knocked out of you. True. And if that shit's a good enough punch, you might not even feel anything. Bro, getting the wind knocked out of you gotta be up there too. I remember one time I was playing like uh on a slide or in on the playground, and um we were playing tag, and I went to go jump off the slide like the swirly slide so i was gonna hop up on the ledge and jump off but then i tried to turn around and i fell backwards like whatever that is like 12 feet straight onto my back all right knocked all the air out of me i thought i was dead all right i seen heaven coming i was looking at the light and was thinking about going towards it now for the tier, I would say that's the shit where you just take one damage, like eating some food that's too hot, too hot. or getting a brain freeze, or, or when you're laying in bed with your phone and that shit slaps you across the <laughs> face. Like, it's just mine is one HP, and, and mine is five IQ. And if anyone's seen that shit, it's probably a lifetime dead of aura. Now, I'm gonna keep it a stack. For something to be in the shit ain't nothing tier, it's just gotta be a good ass day, bro. Like, some days I'll just be feeling invincible, bro. Like, wake up, roll out of bed. Shit ain't nothing. Eat a nice hot breakfast. Shit ain't nothing. Stub my toe while simultaneously getting socked in the face. Shit ain't nothing. Get a bad phone call. Oh uh, yeah, Chains. This this is Dr. D's. Um, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but uh, you know, you tested positive for chlamydia. Hey man, shit ain't nothing. <laughs> what? Oh shit, who's this? Yeah, uh, I wasn't finished. Uh, you also tested positive for herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea, hepatitis. That boy is a super spreader. All right. Keep that meat in the package, brother. You're done. You got a whole ecosystem on your shit. Honestly, at this point, our best bet is just to chop that thing clean off. Uh, what? Sh 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 shit ain't nothing. No, yeah, no. No, it's definitely something. We're, we're chopping your meat off. Yeah, but on some days, bruh, it's just like... Yeah, no, nah, that's it. I quit. I'm done. I'm going to sleep. Good night. And I know this might sound like some freaky ass shit, but I feel like some pain low key feels good, bro. Like in school, I used to. Now, where this 
freaky boy going with this? Just to always put the front chair legs on my feet just to feel the pain. Or even like eating some spicy ass food. Or like, oh, yeah, or, or like getting spanked. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, the no, fuck, nah. nah, nah. I was thinking something more like like taking a really hot shower or like getting like, whipped. <laughs> no, yo, George, shut the fuck up, bro. I'm trying to make a video. And Sorry, shit. my fault, pimp. My fault. Yeah, I, um, or what about what about when you like uh getting you... slapped in the face? Bro, shut the fuck. Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> nah, I think I'm trying to think of some psychological pain that hurts though. Maybe like rent being due or something like that. I don't know, bro. Like I don't really. I think I don't. I don't think I really go through that much psychological pain. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to think of something, cause like psychological pain with time always heals. Like you hurt your like body a certain way, you're feeling it all day, every day. Like it doesn't go away. Like you hurt your wrist or your hand or your ankle. Like, bro, you feel it all day. Like, what's a, what is a freaking psychological pain? Like, once you get past it, psychological pain is like out of sight, out of mind. If it's not in the front of your mind, like, it don't hurt that much. I, I would say, bro. I don't know, man. That's that's just my opinion. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chilling Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama.